morning. I just woke up and I am still in the field by the Merry Maiden Stone Circle in Ballet Farm. It's raining, so I'm not going to have a shower this morning because the showers, although this place is nice, the showers. I really fancy that shower. So, I might hang here for an hour and do some catching up on emails while it rains and then get out there. My sentences are slow in the morning. Living the dream in the rain. The old gossamer gear pole is stuck up there. Because otherwise, my beloved Big Agnes tent, this outer flap falls down like this, where it just lies down, and the rain drips off it right into here. Not good. So this guy is protecting me from some extra drips. This guy is heating my water. The new jet boil design from last year. Everything is great about it. This whole scene, great, 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 great. This, this hat, this lid, load of shit. Not since the day I bought it has it stayed on properly. Look, doesn't clip on. When it starts to bubble, it just fucking flies off. Doesn't, if you push it down, it doesn't seal. You pop one side on, the other side pops off. Shit show. Rain's getting worse. Good job I'm looking glamorous. Um, fuck me, that rain's getting shit again. I'm gonna have to wait even longer till I go anywhere. Blech. And we're all packed up. It's not the most fancy looking pack, but I mean, it's got too much stuff in it anyway, because we've got my iPad for tutoring and some bits and bobs for that. So it's a beast. I'm gonna try and go and do the 14 miles in a few hours before I have to tutor. Before I go, I wanted to see if I could see this guy. Sorry. I was a bit smeary on the lens. So let's get over here. Okay. The piper. I have no idea how they got this in the ground. In the Neolithic times, without any machinery, it's humongous. It's as high as I can possibly reach. up started walking hurrah hurrah then the sun's come out and now I'm in my most excellent waterproofs by enlightened equipment not sponsored by the way although maybe they did give me these can't recall that way hi boys what's new oh yeah better humping not gonna get very far he's probably a mate yeah no joy. Hi. What's been happening? He didn't. Honestly. Again. I know. I don't blame you for being fed up with it. Yeah, well, you should. Yeah. You should be ashamed. I'm into veteran. And started to think maybe I'll go down to the coast path there through the woods. And then I realised looking at my maps that the contour lines are very close together for St. Lloyd's Cove, whereas this cuts around the top of the cove to the other side. And I thought, I'm short on time today because of um, all the rain this morning and a slate start, a late start. So I'll just do a bit more inland for 10 minutes and cut around the top of the cove so I don't do a huge up and a huge down, which will slow me down even more. I don't know this road. There's a bit more mainy roady and yesterday's lovely um, La Morna lanes. Let's see what's what. It's always another hill in Cornwall. Another day, another style. More wet feet, the sea, me, and a field. Will I be able to get out the other side of this field? That is the question. More barbed wire I've had to climb over with my heavy backpack to get through.
So, what's your name? Ruth. Ruth, Ruth. I've met Ruth, who's helped guide me out of the field. Ruth, what do you do? Uh, Hi, what do you do for the National Trust? I do pony check on a Wednesday. Okay, so tell me what happened last week. So last week I was up here taking the ponies at Bossine Farm and a foal fell out of one right in front of me. <laughs> Did you know that was imminent? No, no, the, we've had a few. going to find the pony, the ponies and the foal that was born last week. Um, some of these ponies are being rehomed. So if you're a local and you love ponies and you have room for a lovely pony, let me know. I'll put you in touch. Well, they're very beautiful. Let's see if you can see. What did they call the foal? Oh, sorry, I've got Ruth to send me some cool videos on WhatsApp of the foal being born. And now I've stuffed up her foal. There they are. There's the little foal. Hopefully we're going to get closer. Okay. Looks healthy, doesn't he? Yeah. Bonded. Hi. Hello, Miss Flower. Hello. I'm now getting a ride with a coffee with my mate Rob. And down there is Treen Valley. Um, very cool meeting Ruth and seeing the foals. And that National Trust farm is empty. Maybe needs me to live there. Um, I'll sell my house, not have a second home. Um, and we're gonna have some lunch and I might need to jump, um, might need to jump Land's End and Land Dizzle, which is a shame because I wanted to swim, but I've done it lots of times and I'll share it with you again. I'm going to go straight over to Senon. Let's see. Because my feet are wet and I'm very soggy and boggy. I need to dry my tent out. Let's see. I'm still waiting to check in. It's been a while. But it's on the door. They don't open and check in until 5 and it's 4 4 5. It's cold though. The wind is cold today. Today, uh, things didn't go quite to plan with a really rainy morning. So, here I am at St. Just. YHA, love a YHA, good member for years. But by the time I'd hugged a standing stone um, after the rain, so I didn't leave till about 10 because it was torrential rain until then, just no point getting really wet when I knew that it would ease up later. Just let me in, just let me in. I love youth hostels, they're brilliant, but I especially love that this is my room. my home for tonight. Gorgeous. Minson Just, I really like it. It's quite big for a town down this way, I reckon. I don't think of it as being this big, um, but it's got loads of cool buildings in it. It was a really rich town at one point. Um, I guess from mining, over on this coast, metallic and other mines that I'll see tomorrow. But these big hotels and inns where they'd welcome people in carriages. Lovely church, the Wellington Hotel over there. I think it's really interesting. Um, there's a place, the Star Inn. Beautiful square, just went through. Quiet. I don't know how populated it is. Obviously, it's night time, so not that populated. I like the feel of it, it's got a lot of energy. I've just been to St. Just at the co op, get some snacks for tomorrow, and now I'm walking back to the youth hostel. Sorry for the seasick, shaky camera holding. What a view!